may not be a wonderful thing to address your accusers directly, but uh, in the last uh, six months or a year, there have been people who have been suggesting that I'm a radical, that I have, quote, over-godded uh, them on uh, political issues. And I'm just struck by the lunacy of those accusations because when it comes to important issues in life, isn't it significant? Isn't it important that we address those things with passion? Let's take, for instance, the uh, precious lives of unborn children. In America, we kill 3,000 children every day. In South Dakota, that number is 11 children. Before they even take their first breath, we kill them in South Dakota. It's called abortion and it takes place every single week in this state. Average is 11 children a day. The question that I would ask is, what are our, quote, pro-life friends in and out of public office doing about it? Well, I want to challenge Governor Dugard directly. He was concerned about Mount Rushmore being closed, concerned enough that he called uh, on private citizens to step up and write checks. And uh, I think that's a wonderful thing. Mount Rushmore should be available to the public. $15,200 a day is the cost. Well, several organizations and people stepped up and wrote a $15,200 check to keep Mount Rushmore open. At the same time, every day that Mount Rushmore was kept open, we are continuing to kill 11 little children in South Dakota. Now there's one organization, CareNet Pregnancy Resource Center in, in Rapid City, that's doing something about that. The average cost to save one of those children is about $1,200. So if you do the math, $13,200 would save those 11 children that are being killed every day in South Dakota. Where is our, quote, pro-life conservative governor on that issue? Has he called for private citizens to step up and save the lives of those little children? Not a word, because maybe that would be perceived as being too radical. Well, I'm saying it's time for us to become radical. Let's be passionate about the things that concern us. And the unborn children who are being killed every day in our country, 11 in South Dakota every day, isn't it time that we got a little bit radical about that? And isn't it time for politicians like John Thune, who's a, a conservative, self-proclaimed uh, conservative, Republican? Dennis Dugard, who describes himself as a conservative Christian uh, politician? And Christy Nome who's a conservative Christian? Isn't it time for those leaders and others to step up and do something to save the lives of these little children, I think that would be, uh, well, let's not call it radical, let's call it refreshing.